Hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today, we're going to be looking at another aspect of writing music for film. This time, a little bit of a suspense stroke horror kind of chord, but it's really built on a thing that you can use, a theory that you can use all over the place. Let's look at it. We're in Apple Logic Pro, which is a, a DAW that I use a lot of the time to make music for film and television. And I've got a little cue up here. No reason to look at the picture. I just want to show you kind of a cool suspense, emotional moment that you can generate time and time again for yourself. So here's the cue, just a little bit of it here. So what is that chord and the woodwinds up there? Well, I've got it here for those of you who can read music, but let's take a solo of it here for a second. Uh, go to bar 514. And it's you can't really figure it out, I mean, unless you've got perfect pitch. But what's great about these kinds of harmonies is that it basically is three harmonies put together. And anytime you can have three things happening at the same time in music, it becomes sort of really complex and people's brains have to turn off trying to analyze it. And then they just become, they just they are able to experience the music, which is what we always want. So let's take a look at this Think one more time. And what we have is an E flat, a B, a D, a G, a C sharp, and a B flat way, way up high. And that's like this here. In fact, I'm just going to pull up a keyboard so you can see what I'm doing. This is a, from a contact instance. This is from a Cine Winds. This sound is their ensemble articulations, just basically a lot of woodwind instruments put together. Let me slide this over so you can see better. And basically it's... And you can see on the keyboard over there what's happening. But what it really is, if you if you break it down, is an E flat major triad and a G major triad. Now, if we play those together, they sound awful. Maybe it's good for a cluster situation, but it doesn't give us that same kind of feel. And anytime we have complex harmonies, the more we spread them out, the more of an emotional impact that they can have and the less they get kind of bunched up. So in this case, we have the B, the E flat, which here, let me see, you can see down here, the B flat way up here, and the G here. Together, and you know, reaches out the pen, they make a nice E flat major triad, if not very spread out. Now the G chord has this same G, has the B and the D. So it takes up right in the middle, right here, the B, D, G. And together, all of these make this sound, which is really cool. And you can move this in any old way you want, in any old key, and it'll make the same effect. But what about that D flat? Where does that fit in? It kind of doesn't. It's its own thing, and I wanted to add it to really put in a special harmony. You can add any old note you want. But it really blends and blurs the fact that there's just two major triads going on in there, two major chords. And when you add that third element, it makes it so you can't tell what's what. Let's try another one just for kicks. And if you'll look here at the keyboard, I'm just going to make this up on the spot just here. Let's try A flat and C. So let's start with um, maybe the E for this. Let's, let's build that C chord. How about that's cool and then we know the g is common um between the, g, the between the uh oh, so not the g we're talking a flat a flat and c so we want to add maybe the e flat here uh, maybe here so together and maybe pull off one of the c's so we're not doubling them maybe this one no this one's better and then where's that third note? What are we going to add there? Well, let's fool around and see if we can find one. My guess is it's going to be something like this. Yeah, that B. I'm adding a B. So it's the uh, C chord, the A flat, 
and a B natural. Pretty awesome stuff. Just using simple tonalities, a couple of tonalities put together. And then orchestrationally, you can sort of now hear what I'm doing to make it cooler. The harp is just outlining those notes in a little gliss pattern. And then if we look at the violins, they're in tremolo here. Uh, looks like they're doing the same thing. E flat with that C, they're outlining in, in tremolo. Take a listen to what they're doing here for a second. And all together, once again. Pretty cool, very dense harmonic thing that is really just generated from two chords and an extra note. Hopefully this video has been super helpful to you. If so, please subscribe and uh, to our Cinema Sound channel. We have hundreds and hundreds of videos here, uh, as well as hundreds of videos on our Cinema Sound channel and 85 hours of education for you to learn everything you need to know about how to get audio, Hollywood audio into your productions. In fact, we're the only comprehensive audio education source in the world for this kind of thing. Uh, please uh, come visit us again at Cinema Sound. And, and until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're